I may be overthinking this, but I noticed that there were some focused feet shots in this movie. Lee Crowen, do you have a foot fetish? I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> but why you have to focus on the mama's feet like that, bro? So Evil Dead Rise is a brand new installment into the Evil Dead universe. The film is directed by Lee Crowen and it stars Alyssa Sutherland, Lily Sullivan, and Nell Fisher. The film is about two sisters who reunite after some time away from each other, but all gets cut short when the Book of the Dead, aka the Necronomicon, is revitalized and unleashes a nightmarish and demonic reign of terror among the sisters and their family. Out of all the Evil Dead movies and other Evil Dead related projects, this is by far visually the best looking Evil Dead movie in the franchise. The cinematography in here is absolutely gorgeous and it just looks so crisp and so clean from start to finish. Every fragment of this movie did not have not one noticeably bad look to it. Every scene just looked phenomenal. The cinematography here truly encaptures and elevates the nightmarish horror atmosphere and fear within this apartment complex. That signature projectile camera shot is present in this movie and it looks just as good as it did in its predecessors. Now this wouldn't be an Evil Dead movie without an excessive amount of blood and gore flying on screen and my goodness is it here. This movie has so much blood and gore that it would almost give Terrifier 2 a run for its money. Also, I saw Terrifier 2 last year and it, that that is an experience I don't think I will ever forget, even though I kind of want to. But here, from start to finish, it is nothing but pure blood galore and I, I enjoyed it, especially in the final act. This movie also has some great tension. It's one of those situations in which you know it's coming, but when it hits, it hits hard. But to complement the tension is the carefully constructed and crafted sound mixing. The sound mixing blends dead silence and instant booms of audio so fluidly that it truly just elevates the horrific atmosphere of this movie. I feel that audio engineers don't get talked about enough as far as their contribution to films. So I'm gonna do it right here. So thank you all for all your hard work you put into these films. Now, Alyssa Sutherland as Ellie was fantastic. To play a single mother trying to make it to tomorrow to this evil, wicked, and vile entity that reigns fear and terror amongst her family. And her performance with that was absolutely sensational. If her performance fell flat, this movie would have struggled. Lily Sullivan as Beth was a solid protagonist. As the movie progresses forward, you see Beth turn into this badass warrior that steps up to the plate to fight the dead and protect her family. Personally, I like Mia Allen more from the 2013 Evil Dead movie, but here, I do think Beth is a solid enough protagonist to go down as one of the more memorable characters of the Evil Dead franchise. Also, Nell Fisher as Cassie, she was great. I absolutely love the Deadites in this film. Now, if you've seen any of the Evil Dead movies, you know that the Deadites are kind of a bunch of dicks. <laughs> They taunt and play with their prey before they brutally massacre them. In here, they are just as terrifying and wicked as they were in their predecessors. But not only that, this movie also introduces one of the most monstrous and most mortifying looking Deadites we have seen in this entire franchise. Like in the final act, this movie just goes full Resident Evil and I must say, it is glorious. Other than Beth, Cassie, and Ellie, I didn't really care for any of the other characters. You ever see a trailer for a movie and you just analyze the characters that are present in the trailer and you can just automatically tell off the rip on who's going to die? It's kind of like, oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You are certainly going to die. You know, stuff like that. But even if we know those supporting characters aren't going to last very long, I still wish the movie made me care about them more. You know, to me, they were kind of just there. Sure, they could have been interesting characters, but they just weren't. There were a couple of weak jump scares in this movie, but honestly, that's kind of common with every horror film. Like, not every horror movie is going to hit the beat when it comes to jump scares. They're going to get a couple weak ones, but as long as a vast majority of them actually hit home and they work, you can disregard the other two that didn't work. There was also a couple of plot holes in this movie, and one of them in particular involving the fate of the Necronomicon book. I won't get into spoilers as to what those plot holes were, but... I just wasn't a fan of it. I, it's just something that I noticed. As you already know, Ash Williams is not present in this movie. Now, even though I think the movie did fine without him, I still kind of wish he made some sort of presence in this movie, you know? I'm not saying he hasn't been directly involved in this particular story, but it would have been nice to know if he got some sort of cameo. Even though he kind of did, I still would have wanted to see him like in his physical form to some capacity, you know, but... 
That's just me. But I'm not going to be one of those sweaty fanboys that's like, oh my gosh, if Ash Williams is not in this movie, I'm not going to watch it. It's not going to be good. Like, no, no, no. I just wish that he was present in this movie to some extent from like a physical cameo. But in the end, Evil Dead Rise, I had a fun time with it. And this movie serves as such a satisfying treat for both diehard Evil Dead fans and even horror fans in general that both sides can admire and appreciate. So plugging Evil Dead Rise into the rank system, I'm going to place this one into the pinnacle zone. What? No, no, I didn't put Evil Dead Rise into the pinnacle zone because I'm biased and I'm a diehard Evil Dead fan. What? What? Why? Why would you think that? But yeah, that's pretty much my review for Evil Dead Rise. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of Evil Dead Rise. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you wish there was more Ash Williams in this movie? Do you look forward to a sequel to this movie? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next one. After working up the nerve, almost equal in size, I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime, but never less than a five, and never slept on a job. A killer crept on your squad, yet never left the garage, where your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes. Get to the button and press, it's what the message advised. What's the threat behind a message where the testament lies?